from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the Blur Min Max Cross plugin. It's for Photoshop, PSP, Photo Paint, etc. For 32 bit on, say, PC, Windows 8, Windows 7, etc. Now, the plugin is a fairly basic blur, but it's uh, an interesting blur effect. It creates uh, interesting distortions, and I'm just using a darkened image at that point. But you can actually uh, this is the standard blur, just uh, distorts the image in a, a weird and wonderful way. You can also apply different colour. I'm just going to release that because I actually set that to the default is to actually uh, change the colours individually. And I'll reset at this point because it's uh, yeah. Basically, it goes red or green, or you can reduce, go the other way put that down to make it blue just to quickly show you the blur effect you can control the blur via the blur option here also you can use the darken image option and that creates um, slightly disturbing imagery in this point um, anyway it uh, can be used for lots of different unusual effects you can also link the colors RGB just by checking this now one of the things I'm going to quickly show you in this plugin it's there's a hundred different blend options, and that's the same in all the uh, graphic extras plugins. Uh, you can use them to create vast numbers. Of and of course, you can actually combine them with the uh, um, standard Photoshop blend up options. So, uh, just going to go quickly through a few of them, and you'll see some things like zapped here, and that actually uses the uh, color over here. There's also other options, and there's like FG. If you see an FG, that's also a foreground effect. It actually uses this option. So if you change that, it will actually modify the actual effect here. Now, there's also other options here. You will notice that's uh, like grad, and it's got an R. Now, well, could have called obviously lots of things. Actually, that's just right click. So if you just right click, and you just notice as I right click it actually moves the center and that's what the R is it's basically the right click so another gradient and I'm just going to right click there and there's also other options such as click and that actually takes the color from a particular place so I'm just going to just apply the color there I'm just going to click the color there and you'll see it's dark and actually we've got thunderstorm just appearing at this moment maybe that's the uh, or the gruesome orange that's just popped up but there's a bit of a lightning storm but anyway that's the basic functionality of the blur plugin min max cross and it's available in the andrews plugins volume 11